Hello, this is Chibi Vocal making this video with tips on how to make Chibi Ragnarok. The first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to get material. The material I used for my Ragnarok is the same material I used for my big giant stuffed banana of lusciousness. It's this it's a fuzzy type of material. It's pretty good thickness. Enough that you, well, you can basically use any material, but I just, I would just suggest using fuzzy material because it feels nice on the skin. And so you're gonna need lots, preferably lots of black and a decent amount of white, but don't get too, too much, because I know I have lots of extra that I'm probably gonna end up making something else with. Okay, anyways, back on to Ragnarok. One of the first things you're going to need to do, other than get your material, is make your pattern for him. Now, the length of him, what I did to figure out that length is I measured, I took a tape measure and I measured from the top of my head to about my mid-back, and then I basically judged everything on that. This is the piece for his main body. You're going to need this is one of the main important parts of him, so you're gonna need the main body. I made mine. Uh, I made him into a ghost shape, only because I don't really think he has legs and whatnot. Um, next piece you're gonna need is a head. What I did for this is I just found a clock in my house that was small, and I judged its head roughly to be about this shape, and it turned out decent. So, here's that. You're gonna need, for his eyeballs, these pieces. Um, you're gonna need the X for his face. And somebody asked me if you could, uh, something about a sausage it. Well, I would suggest, well, what I did is I originally just sewed it on like this, it's flat. If you wanted to make it pop out, what you also could do is you could sew it on like this and you can slightly shove stuffing in there, but just make sure you don't sew it together first at the corners. Um, next piece you're going to need is the arms. And now what I did is I cut his arms up into three pieces because you might not be able to notice, but he has um, slight puppy shoulders, I guess you could say, and then there's the long piece, and then there's his hands. And so here's the piece for his main arm, his puffy shoulder, and his hand. That's it, I guess. <coughs> okay. Um, the main, his main body is relatively simple, but what I did with mine and my banana as well is I put a pocket in the side inside of him that way I could put my cell phone in there and camera and not have to lug it around all day because that can get really really annoying um, so okay so I'm gonna talk about his hat his head first of all well the head. Um, what I did is I cut out two of these the same shape obviously and for one half, I completely decorated the face first of all. You're going to want to do all of this before you put, like so on the back, except for the eyes. The eyes, I put them on last, only because it would be a pain to turn inside out and take it back out. Um, okay, um, I'm going to talk about the cross. What I did with my cross is... I have my pattern. Um, what I originally did is I had it cut out like this. <coughs> Excuse me. And I gently slipped, cut the middle of it, folded it over, and sewed it down to give it that nice shape, as you can see. That way no, none of the rough edges are showing. And I did this basically all the way around, and then I sewed it again onto the black piece of the head. Um, what else? The eyes. 
it's I did basic I basically did the same thing with the eyes, but what I would suggest doing is if you're gonna use fabric paint like I did for the black lines, make sure that well, if you put them on first on the material and then you want to sew them afterwards, make sure the glue, or the paint in this case, is dry. I had to remake his hands and his eyes at least three to four times because I was always make I was always messing up on them. Um, the paint wasn't fully dry. This paint, I would say it takes about two hours to dry. Unless you're not Unless you're like me, you don't have no time. I I just used um, uh, blow dryer. That's the word. Ah, fell down and hurt my hand the other day at a photo shoot with Yumi. Ooh, which video should be up almost if I have time. Um, okay. Um, the hands, basically the same general idea with the fabric paint to separate them. What I did is. <clears throat> with his arms and the hands, I wanted to be able to put him around my neck, like uh, he needs more stuffing, like this roughly, so that he would stay like this. What I did is before I sewed the hands together along there, I sewed what's that word? Um, Velcro to the, each side. <clears throat> so that way, he easily just snaps it there and back. I'm not sure if you can see. Okay, um, what else did I miss? Um, yeah, you're obviously gonna need stuffing, like regular project stuffing. You can probably get it at any, like, craft store, or in my case, I got one at a sewing store. Um, not sure what else there is to talk about. Mm. Oh, one quick thing. Um, when you're sewing this all together, make sure that everything lines up perfectly. Because it's going to look slightly weird if you have this off on one side. Um. Okay, um, what else can I talk about? Oh, attaching the head. This is actually two separate pieces. I, I just generally sewed them together because it didn't, well, I'm not, I wasn't really sure how else I was gonna attach it. But another thing you always could do that I didn't do is you could make this, his head piece and the body all one thing together. Um, what else? That should generally be it. <coughs> this was one of my first sewing projects. Plushy wise, other than my banana. It's my precious. Precious. Um, that sounds a little weird. Um, I think that's everything. Well, can't think of anything right now, but. If you have any questions, feel free to leave me a message or message me or anything like that. I hope this helps. I'm sorry if I'm not the best at explaining things. I'm generally not. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching.